Word Glory. That's yeah. all we was listening. <laughs> That's all we was listening. Well, welcome, family, to another edition to T Lips Presents the Bridge. We want to welcome you to mm-hmm. put your brick in. What? Mm, this down now. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, people, you know something? Hi. But anyway, uh, I want to welcome or send a shout out to Ron and Reg and Stan, the gurus that makes this happen. Okay, right. okay, we got them out the way. The next set of guys, I want to send a shout out to JD, Woo! Abstract right, Excellence, okay. What It Be, yeah. Teresa's Little Man, Hassan, Hassan. Hassan. Salam, Salam Mahmoud. <laughs> okay, what she said. What yeah. about that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 my man over here. Ado, Anthony and the Hizzy. But are. anyway, now. Uh, uh, and cousin. Who's cousin? I Francis. Okay, I'm doing this. <laughs> okay, hey Francis. See, you know something. But anyway, now, okay, that's the that's the next level. Now the level of our panel is Miss Interrupter. <laughs> I was rushing. Them. We're ready today. Twyla. We got Shirley Girl in the house. Yeah. Shirley yeah. Girl. Yeah. Shirley Girl. And the infamous particle daughter, Teresa. Teresa is back. You, you know what I mean? But, guys, you know, so uh, welcome again. We got a good show for you today. Um, you know, we have some important things that, you know, that we need to discuss with you. And again, like I said, we need you to put your brick in this foundation. And, and not only that, um, there's a lot of things that are going on, and you know, so we need to get off the sideline, and we need to be involved in that. Yes. Uh, uh, what's going on? Because you know, some they kind of sugarcoating things, and and they throwing up these screens and things of, uh, of that nature uh, that try to bamboozle you and keep you in the dark. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking of which, you're probably wondering why I got this hat on. I'm looking like Houdini, or <laughs> or, or or. But actually, you know, something we're in guerrilla warfare, so I'm mm-hmm. set for guerrilla warfare <laughs> now. That's what right, you that's gonna right. do? Oh, okay, right. but anyway, having said that, um, pardon me. Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case y'all don't know it, see, you know. Actually, see, they come out in guns, and no, I'm just. <laughs> I told you I'm ready for guerrilla warfare, man. Uh, no, but uh, um, um, before we get started. Well, we already started, but uh, uh, I, I, Teresa and her family, they visited uh, the Jim Crow um, um, Museum. Up in Big Rapids, Michigan. In Grand, Big, Big, Ra- Big Rapids. Big Rapids. Michigan. Dang, they got all kind of rapids yeah, up rapids, there. Rapids, mm-hmm. rapids, rapids. I'd have been lost <laughs> like hell, but anyway. Yes. <laughs> you know, yes. uh, Big Rapids, uh, Michigan. Yes. Okay. Yes. And um, we want to share something with you and, 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 and let you guys know, see, the importance of this knowledge yes. and, 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 and knowing your history. Now, uh, Teresa's son uh, went there, of course, with them, and we want you to, to, to feel his experience, what went through his head as yeah. a young man. Mm. You, you, you know what I mean? So if, if we can... Um, Hassan, it's on you. Hassan? Uh, let, me, let me ask you a question real quick. Mm-hmm. When you first went inside the museum, what did you think you were going to see? I was going to see like, um, like all kinds of weird things that I didn't know about. Mm -hmm. And when I came in, all the first thing I just saw that rope up there, like how Mm -hmm. black people were back then, and how they got like that rope had been heavy and like when they stuck our heads in there and they just yank it off and then they put it they posted up how they used to treat us and do stuff like that to us. So wow. so what you're saying is that you saw a rope a rope that simulated it being around the neck of a black person and how And our were. heads are so strong they just break off that easily. Mm-hmm. Tell me this. When you saw that rope and you thought about another black person or many black people having had their rope around their neck, how did you feel inside? I felt like kind of disappointed and sad and really I was crying and it was really intense how they were back then and it was just heartbreaking for me 
and my mom to see that. And and now that um he saw it, it remembers that all that the black people did white people did to black people that means and how they did back then. Let me let me uh, jump in because you know something he said uh, when you ask him you know how did he feel and what he see and he and it's the, the term that he used and the words that he used how black people were. Mm. So in his mind he visioned like we are walking around basically and we were with a, with a rope around our necks. Yeah. And we we kind of like still walking around with a rope, with a rope around our neck. That's a good analogy. You, you yeah. know what I mean? That's so yeah, that's so now that's now imagine that's the, the kids back then, what they envisioned. Wow. You know what wow. I mean? And this is a, a nineteen or, or a twenty nineteen uh, uh, analogy of what was seen. So wow. what is that analogy back in sixteen? What was it? Thirty five or whenever? Oh, you know. Oh, you talking about in the nineteen hundreds? Well, the nineteen hundreds. Yeah. yeah well, 1800s. You, you know. So yeah. I mean, so the impact of slavery is still here. Yes. Yes. You know, affecting our children. Yes. Affecting our lives. So people, again, we we have to get. Thank you for thank sharing. You, thank you. Yes. Thank you for sharing. Uh, but you know something, uh, uh, again, you know something, we got to get off the sideline. We have to get involved because it's very important. Our children, I our children. I have one more question for her son. Go on. After you saw that and having seen that and experiencing that and seeing that this is the way it was for black people in this country, how does, what does that make you feel like doing in the future as far as a young person? Um... As far as I know, that that is still going on, mm -hmm. and like to this day, it's ha it hasn't changed, and they still doing it today, and like what do they white people still do, and how they do to us still to this point of day, and how our lives uh, has they. Change. They still hasn't changed. So, what would you mm. like to see changed? I want to see them. for your future, and and your children, children, grandma. Uh, but mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <probably. laughs> but uh, what would you like to see changed? I just want to keep them safe. Make sure to stay away. If you don't know them, just run back to the house. And if you don't know anybody, or if if it's your friends or your uh, family member friends, then that's okay. But if it's a stranger that you don't know, you can go on the street and get hit by cars and you don't know how to cross over. Then if if you don't know them, just go in the house. And and I just, and if you don't know them, no people, if somebody knocks on the door and somebody opens it, I just tell them, don't open the door. Cause you don't, you don't might know who it could be, and and I said let me if, if it was me I would check the door who is it, at the front door and check who it is and find out. Thank you, you so much, for Hassan. Uh, Shirley, Hassan, mm -hmm. yes. How old are you? I'm uh, I'm 11, but I'm about to be 12 this year. Okay. Yeah, cause you're too young. I'm, I'll let you finish, Shirley. You're too young, cause you had to think about it. See. When you ask me my age, I'm going to be in trouble. And, and, then, he, and, then, and then he said, I'm about to be 12, so he want to hurt me. Okay. <laughs> I right. want that too, uh, Hassan. So, um, 11, so that means you in junior high school, right? Junior high? Senior high? No, middle school. No, you're in middle school, okay. Yeah. We used to call it junior yeah. high school. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Correct. Yeah. So, what, what have you been taught in school. Do you go to private school or self-taught or you go to the regular public school? What public kind of school. So school. what are you being taught as far as history, um, as far as your people, black people? Uh, we, when I was in my school in uh, North Glen, uh, they taught us history on about like, like all the presidents and the people the founding fathers and uh, um, 
about Martin Luther King Jr. and other people. What about Malcolm mm. X? Mm. Marcus yeah. Garvey. I don't know about that. See, there we go. Mm. The mm. reason why I asked, I have a nephew, 11. He's probably 17 now. Mm -hmm. They're going to 12th grade, I think. Mm -hmm. And I asked him, and this was just last month, I said, so, same question, what, what are they teaching you in school? I said, do you know anything about Malcolm X, or Marcus, Marcus Garvey? Just what you said, founding fathers, the same old same oh, indoctrination that we've been getting as we grew up to. What Jermaine was saying was that um, what has been taught, what is being taught on Malcolm X is a trick bag. That was the exact word. Right, he said exactly. because he said that um, you're not really getting the full information even, even then, too. But that goes to the point that we don't control the narratives because we don't write the textbooks. Right. We don't own the schools. Right. And I, th and I think, Shirley, your point is an, a, a really critical one because I have been on a mission just personally that, and I, I know I bother Hassan with, or he considers it a threat for homeschooling mm -hmm. for just the reason that you mentioned is that it's so important. And I think when we went to the Third Good Marshall Center yes. and we heard, yeah, yeah. Um, and he talked about a people that does not uh, teach their own history is really looking for trouble. And I think that's well, the, Dr. The, the, Tony, Dr. Tony, Dr. Tony, Tony Brown. Brown. Yeah, he made that mm -hmm. note, and I thought that was the most <clears throat> Uh, a pivotal point of the entire mm -hmm. event and it is so important as you mentioned Shirley that we we train our own kids with our history. Well, what, what's his name? What, the guy on one of my first shows, uh, D Greg Derrick or what's his name? The young man in the, on, in the pilot show? Yeah, what's his name? Um, the work with Francis. Oh, I know who you, yeah, I know who you're talking but about. But anyway, his name now. well y'all think of it, see. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. not the yeah. only one that have laughter. Yeah. But no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. no uh, uh, he said, uh, 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 my people perish for, for lack, lack of, of knowledge. knowledge. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and we see this perishment of us because we lack knowledge. And you we're know? relying on the system to train us. And my goal as, um, you know, working with Imagination Press and connect to the bridge is to ensure that we create learning books and institutions and that we get that word out about our history. Well, you know something, too, Teresa, and I was going to save this because I, I wanted to bring some uh, construction paper to show you how their narrative, how they set that narrative. Now, we've been fighting for this, this thing called blackness to which we're not. Mm -hmm. We're brown. This is the color black. <laughs> Do any one of us look black? If you open up a box of crayons, mm -hmm. the color black, the black crayon is what? Black. black right. The brown crayon is what? Brown. Right. Now, white people say they're white. If you look at white people, not they're right. not white. Right. So this is a ghost. Right, right, right. And what did I say? They don't look nothing like a spirit? Uh, I said, you know... <laughs> uh, a sp oh, oh yeah, yeah, the spook thing. I said, now this is a, a, a if if it's a, they say okay, ghosts are white. You know, you right, put on the white right, sheet, right, yada right, yada yada, right. and 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 a ghost is a spook. Right. What do they call us? <laughs> How can we be a spook? You know, we right. put on the black sheet and go boo and right. white eyes or what? Right, right. But anyway, I just I just wanted to share that. But again, see, uh, uh, with them setting the narrative. You know, this is black. And they talk about brown people. We're brown people. Right. Now, there is some brown. But you got to be careful. You have to be careful when you use the word brown for people that consider the name is uh, for the but we, we're, color we're, black. We have a, a variation. Because they, that mixes, they, they try to lump us in with, with, Latinos, with Latinos. So yeah, you got to be careful when you say you're brown. Because honestly, they, I, was, they, I felt the tan. same way. But they don't use tan. They use black and brown. Well, again, th that's the narrative that they set. Again, yeah, but, like but, they're white. But they have to be but careful. Yeah, but but we've I understand. Yeah, too, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but I think it speaks to what is truth, and that's the problem, is that we have not 
truly identified truth in literature, history, yeah. and yeah. we've allowed others to identify truth, and the truth isn't the truth, and that's what we're discovering. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, 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 we have now identified truth with uh, American descendants of slaves. Mm. Okay. That's our okay. identity now. Right. Okay. So okay. All right. If you want to be black American descendant of slaves, that's fine. Or if you just want to say brown American descendant, but I would prefer American descendant of slaves. Well, okay. Which brings to the point of, of the whole argument about this pan Africanism and, and, and reparations and recovery yes. and all these things. Because people don't want to be associated with the hashtag ADOS because they might not like Yvette Carnell or, or Antonio um, Moore. They don't want to be called foundational blacks because that's attached with, with Tariq Nasheed or, 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 um, or with Professor Black Truth or the Black Authority, which they took Professor yeah. Black Truth's channel. His whole YouTube channel was taken off. Huh. All his yeah. videos, wow. everything. Yeah. Wow. So when we're wow. talking about how the, how the narrative is being set, and it wasn't just by Caucasian people's standards. It was some of you naysaying black folks. <laughs> Bootlickers. Yeah. Who got upset with brown with tongue, no, black because tongue, you felt so threatened. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Always what I understand is agents. all these white supremacists can have their channels. And they do. They, they speak in code, but you don't understand what they're talking about. So they have their channels on their different networks, and you still see them. They have their Facebooks, and they have other stuff, and they're still up. Oh, they condemned a few, a couple, mm -hmm. and they, they had to lump them in because they wanted to get fair account, so they had to yeah, pump someone else. So that was that, was that yeah, gang. Yeah. But then you have a few blacks that are on the air, on YouTube and on our podcast. A few in comparison to the grand number of people and media outlets, and the proper term is medium because you're talking about more than one. If, if you understood Latin, you understand what I'm talking about. Um, so you take off one. But I'm here to tell you, you take off one, three's going to grow. Absolutely. Three's going to grow. So those of you out there who, who don't like the same opinion of a person, that's what's called a challenge. You can click the challenge, yeah, the challenge. Yeah, so what yeah. happened to our First Amendment right? Right, that's what I was speech. Mm -hmm. He wasn't talking, there wasn't anything yeah. on there where he talking about hate. What he did say certain things like, which is true, there is an insurrection that is, is that's bubbling in this country. Yes. Young people are tired. Older people are tired. Middle aged people are tired. People are getting tired. And tired mm -hmm. people act out. People are frustrated to act out. And we have to send out a shout out to the families that lost oh, their, their lives in, in El Paso, in Ohio, um, Texas. Uh, Dayton and as well. Dayton, Ohio yeah. as well. But I'm here to tell you, like we've said a few months ago, it's just the beginning. Mm -hmm. You think you saw something yesterday? Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to minimize it. But it's just the beginning, and it's, it's, it's going to amp up. I don't know what you believe in. I don't know what you study. I don't know who's going to mm -hmm. pop a line to you. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's just the beginning. It's going to get it's really get. Oh, twice, let me say this, too, right quick. Uh, mm -hmm. Was it uh, Tariq Nasheed? Was that a, no, Tariq, yeah, oh, yeah, Tariq, Tariq Nasheed. Okay, yeah. now he has a program. Uh, uh, a movie, yeah. Hidden a movie, uh, Hidden Colors 5, yeah. Oh, and, and if you saw the first four, you pretty much know what the uh, movie or the documentary is about. Now, they banned him in the UK. They banned him. And, he was and in the as play. well as, yeah, over a, a movie that speaks truth. So, again, now, the people over there. The uh, writers, boy, they yeah, don't play. Yeah, they don't play. <laughs> yeah. See, they don't play. Now, the movie better. is still there. Yeah, they're going to exactly. show the movie. They're going to yep. show the movie. Yeah, they're going to show the but movie. But see, they, don't, they didn't because want they to show that, that unity amongst That's us. That's unity right there. You, 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 you oh, know wow. what I mean? And, and so unity. they want to keep that hush hush. But again, now, the show premiered in over here in, in, in Los Angeles. In Los LA, Angeles, yeah. sold out. No sooner that the show ended, these bootlickers got on the phone and said, "Guess what, Nazel? This is a show that y'all can't get out." I don't know how to do that imitation, so okay. <laughs> but anyway, uh, within the hour, yes, he was banned. And the sh they didn't want to show the film. Yes, he be a ticket. Wow. He got coming from all around Get in, in London to see this. But this. yes, yes, he was on the plane. The yes. plane was on the top. He had already yeah. boarded the plane with his wife. Yes. yes. Okay, hold on, hold on. So he was banned. 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 The United Kingdom. He, he never got on the plane. Yes. They came no, and brought no, him. He no, made no, reservations. He never got, he never got on yeah. the plane. He couldn't even get on the he plane. He never got on the plane. He was in the line to get on the plane. His wife had said, "Let him, let her go on through." But she said, "I'm not leaving without him." But there's a plane on the tarmac. They're boarding. And then he's told, I, he can't board. Had a letter saying and that what he's doing is not conducive to the good people. It's not conducive, conducive, conducive to, to the people. To the people yeah. of England. That's cold blood. Because, yeah. yeah. So, 
a, a documentary. See, this one thing about, I don't care how you feel about Trick and the King Flex, shout out to you. I don't care how you personally feel about them. You can't dispute the facts of hidden colors. One, two, three, and four. Uh, Dr. Francis Quest Wilson rolled with him. If you knew anything about her, she didn't uh, attach herself to this any old body. So there's something about that young man that rings true. And if you watch Hidden Colors 1, 2, 3, and 4, which I recommend strongly as you go pick up, mm-hmm. you and need five. to watch it. And, and with 5, is now it's on Amazon. He put it on Amazon. Yeah. He put and, it on Amazon. And yeah. number 15 as far as movie ratings. Wow. Right now. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It ranked number up one there with, with, right Yeah, now. exactly. Well, I haven't seen it. I've heard about it, but I will definitely yeah. watch it. You can it. buy it on Amazon yeah. and yeah. pre it. it up. And what I'm finding in my own personal research is that we have been told so many lies about our yeah, own history that is, that is very upsetting, and that others have agreed to the untold lie. That there are well other, yeah, you know, yeah. other people yeah. are very in good. agreement about keeping their mouths shut as yeah. well. Very good. So it's important for us to connect with places like Connect to the Bridge and um, Anthony Broward, Thurgood Marshall Center, all these groups. Um, your group as well. Um, Moving move black movers, people. Yeah. 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 yeah, but we need to start really, and we need to read. We yeah. need to read. I'm saying R&R, read and research. Mm-hmm. Not rest and relaxation, but R&R, well, read and research. I want to add um, back to um, what's Hassan. His name? Hassan. Hassan. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hassan, um, and I'm not speaking di- directly at you, but children in general, um, that hidden color five should be a good opportunity for kids or children or teenagers to look at. Okay. And it okay. could be like a um, watch party, mm-hmm. have some kind of party and get kids together, children together and watch yeah. that. And we should, because that's a yeah. history. And, make, and one of the things they were pissed off about is because they mentioned something about the queen. Yeah. Oh, wow. that's, oh, that's, that's, oh, that's, that's the trigger. That's the trigger. English. Remember, that's yeah. Britain. Yeah. yeah. That, that's what triggered. Megan Markle's in laws. Well, wow. If, if you look that at triggered it right there. They, them whites didn't want to go yeah. there. Yeah. All wow. these, all these traits are European traits. Uh, all, all the ramifications for slavery and and all this this debauchery are you European traits. And so, uh, again, I don't know nothing about the queen. Uh, or, okay, here's one of the things. Know. This is one of the things. And I can tell you, and th- th- I'm, I'm on this train. They have all these different artifacts all around the world that, that belong to the Jewish heritage, and they have gone dogmatic to the left side of Egypt, to the north side of hell, to getting all their artifacts brought back to Israel. Mm-hmm. And rightfully so, because they were absconded. I'll give you that. But England owns artifacts that are owned that actually were stolen from other yes. African countries, mm-hmm. and they mean. won't give them back. Well, well, part that's of the, what the documentary right. is about. And part it's of the talking reason, about that. and with Doctor, they, I think it's Ivan Van Sertima, mm-hmm. I think. And part of the reason they won't give them back is what they reveal. Mm-hmm. And, and very good. Yeah, you're we right. We really need to understand that the black man was here first. Bottom line, Absolutely. was mm-hmm. here first was even in England first. And I would, I, like I said, I would a- ask you to pick up Dr. Anthony Browick's book, Dr. Mm-hmm. Van, Ivan Van Sertima. Mm-hmm. But until we really have an understanding, and that's why we have such racism, because people don't, un- they think that we don't know nothing and we were in the African jungles all our life and that was yeah. it. And that yeah. helps to breed racism mm-hmm. and inequality. Well, and the question you know, so, is, but the question ahead. is, why is it that we support one group toward getting their, regaining their heritage and regaining their, but there's such a big repel against black peoples internationally doing the same thing. Because there the, should be a big push. Because the one group is not really who they say they are. Mm. Mm. Well, Which, oh, let and me, we will uh, discover that if we read and read if, if and research. We have to, we ha- we <laughs> have, <laughs> we have to wake up, man. Right. I, you know, like over in, in France, France uh, are guilty of stealing uh, artifacts from Africa. Now, here's the reason why they justified them keeping it. They said we're going to pres- we can preserve them better than you. But they won't like tell you Africa the truth. They won't tell you. In, they, in, but in they the will not. But they will not tell you the fact mm-hmm. that even not. today, in that in Museum. order for Nigeria and some of them other African countries to gain their independence, every year they pay money to France. Mm. You all need to start reading. You need to start researching. You need to stop playing the video games and going out mm. here, throwing it up, tossing up all that dumb stuff. 
Why are you doing it that you're dying? Right. You're dying, people. And all you old cats that sit in the way and won't get out the way and won't teach anybody, you got to get out the way. We're pushing you out the way. We're Mow pushing you. like you. a lawnmower. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Now, if you're old like me and you still understand that yeah. you have a role and your role is to do this and you, are, and you know your role, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane or get in your lane. And if you have a problem with understanding what it is, then don't do anything. I mean, don't harm the people that are trying to do stuff. That's what I'm saying. That's just like, well, well, I got to get to this because my mind, I'm itching right now. We went, we mean? went. <laughs> oh, you thought I thinking about forcing these itching no, for a stretch, itching for a stretch. I like no. it. <laughs> no. I'm itching. Uh, it wasn't that bad. I didn't you know, give a look like, like that. like that? Yeah. No, it didn't. Well, I had a comment, didn't I? I broke up your whole. You always whole... have a comment. So oh, no, that's true. Too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, listen, don't just sit out there, young black folks, and do nothing. Mm -hmm. And don't sit out there and jump in the lane without knowing what kind of car is coming down there on that lane. Mm. That's something to think about. Mm. Find out the maker of the car that you're trying to drive, because they can give you the specifications of that vehicle. Mm. Check the one who wrote the owner's manual. Mm, that's okay. good. Now, I oh, say okay. that because I got to get to this. Okay. Get to it. I got to get to this. All right. A okay. lot of us are on different agendas. And Cobra has one. ADOS okay. has one. Um, this group has this. This group has that. We did a wonderful thing. We met up on the uh, on the first of, of, of uh, last month in July at the National Day of Reparation. There were like at least fourteen different groups oh, that right, got right, together right. at the press mm -hmm. at the press club, and we had a wonderful time. We all agreed. That we were going to work together. On one and some, accord. Other, some other groups out there that uh, uh, need to come on board too because we're better and we're stronger together. That's good. Okay? Cause, but here's the thing that Shirley and I had worked on. Well, earlier this um, our shows, we had a young man named John Cheeks was here, a wonderful right. man, wonderful idea about um, the uh, United States um, Recovery Act, well, the D.C. Recovery Act specifically for mm -hmm. those who are. Um, uh, descendants of the enslaved that lived in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Now, as it was written initially, we could go a long road with that because it was for the recovery finances for black people. Now, what he did reveal, and let me, this is a disclaimer, so I'm telling you, this is a disclaimer. Number one, whatever I say, I can back up. That's why I only say what I know what, what to say. I don't walk back any words I say because I'm careful about what I say when I say it. Okay? That's just me always have been, always will be. Number two, this is not an indictment against Fox Wave. Fox Wave has nothing to do with this, so don't go to, to the owner and say, oh, this is it. No. And number three, this is not because of the panel that connects the bridge. We don't bash people. Yes. We bash issues and positions. Yes. And if an issue or position is contrary for the development of our people, we got to get it. We got to hit it. Equal opportunity hit. Okay. Yes. So John knows this is the position because I've talked about it. We, we've conversed about it. So I'm not saying anything new. So those of you out there who think you're going to say something new, no. In fact, I talked to a member of his camp the other week and told them that this was going to happen. And so now I have to make the words true. So the United States um, D.C. Recovery Act was mm -hmm. supposed to be for the descendants of, of the enslaved in, mm -hmm. and who are resident in Washington, D.C. Right. And we were working diligently. But then some, John came on the show and said that even when the question was asked, how did he start doing this? And right. he said that someone else was behind it. Had, right, that mm -hmm. someone else had recruited him for this mm -hmm. effort. For okay. this, yeah. For this effort. S specifically, specifically for, this, for effort. this effort, yeah. So, that, so now I want you to put a pin, pin note right there. So he's recruited. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... The act went through several revisions, and it went through a different name. It was it was UC, you know, it's USARA, and it might be mm -hmm. something else. But by now, but the one thing in there still recovery, but, but yeah. recovery. But the one part in there was something about we're breaking in tears. Tears first for the blacks, Americans that had ancestry, mm -hmm. and then for Caribbeans that have ancestry connected to the. The, 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 um, the plantation, which no problem with that. Right. Because there were Haitians that were dumped off into the ports in Georgetown in D.C. Mm -hmm. No problem. Documented, well-known fact. No problem at all. Mm -hmm. Then there was a third group of people. And it's this third group that I'm telling you it's a sellout move. I said it. It's a sellout move. The third group says that money should go to or compensation should be going to the Federal 
reserve, federal, federal employees. And I said, federal employees or the federal, federal? I, said, I kept questioning, what is this? Well, you know what? I didn't get a straight answer at first. So I went to some partners of mine who did the Pentagon. I said, well, you know what? I Googled. I checked my secretary, Miss Google. And, you know, <laughs> I went to the library. I checked reference books. I could not find out who this term of people were. So when you won't tell me, and I got to dig it for myself, well, I'm going to the white meat. Okay? <laughs> found out. It was for the Union soldiers in regards to the Union soldiers that fought in the Civil War or the War of the United States. So I went back to him with that information told him what I knew, okay? And I said, I will not and cannot support any act, nothing that gives reparations or recovery to any Caucasian person, period, for enslavery. I cannot, I cannot. I'm, this is a very specific claim I'm talking about, a very specific mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about red line segregation, Jim, I'm, not, I'm just talking about the one thing. I'm talking about my great grandfather. I'm talking about other people's great grandparents. Yeah, mine was Josh Horn. That's just one ancestor. That's my inline heir. Okay? Yeah, I know the name. And I challenge you all to find out the name yourselves, too. Dig them up. Find the name. Anyway, so then I get this commercial message back, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Says about, well, they with the compensate the ones who fought on it, the children of the union. And that with the fight, because they fought on the side of right. I said, they ain't fine on the side of right because the <laughs> war didn't have anything to do with slavery. Mm. We were not, and so people said, oh, I heard that, but Lincoln changed his mind. Lincoln didn't change his dog on mind at the end. You Let, got, I want you got you the receipts. You got, I got the receipts. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the Crittenden Johnson Resolution, which is also known as the War Ends Resolution, I want to, I'm going to say it slow, and if you want it, you can listen to the rebroadcast. The Crittenden Dash Johnson Resolution also known as the War Aims Resolution. Crittenden was a representative in Kentucky. There were some border states. Mm -hmm. Kentucky was a border state. Tennessee was a border state. Missouri was a border state. Um, um, Delaware was a border state. And Maryland was a border state. They were slave states. Mm -hmm. So those of you who think you're, in, you're not in the South, you live in Maryland, no, you're Southern. <laughs> you're Southern. Mm -hmm. Get over it. So when you talk about people in Alabama being Bama, you're just the same way. Mm -hmm. You saw that Mason-Dixon line. In fact, you had to go up to Pennsylvania, almost to Hanover, to get to the Mason-Dixon line. There's a sign that says yes, Mason-Dixon Mason line. line. Okay? You better right. start reading. Yes. You hmm. better stop putting them textbooks down. Put them textbooks down. You better start reading. Hit them libraries. I don't mean going on the internet online. That's the lazy way. You might get, you might get a start. You better go to that book. Yes. Read yes. what the documents say. Okay. So... Then the other person was Johnson, and we know who that racist Johnson was. I can't hardly stand saying this dude's name. Senator Andrew Johnson, who ended up being the president mm -hmm. after Lincoln. And those of you black folks who love the Republicans so much, the Republicans did not free you. Lincoln was a Republican, but he didn't run on a Republican ticket because Johnson was a Democrat. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They ran on the National Union ticket. Wow. Now, that's good. That's good. Dig it up in your school textbooks. That's you good. won't find it. That's but good. if you go to the National Archives, it's wow. right there. This is a chair squeaker, so don't think I'm doing something peculiar. <laughs> okay. So the war had begun on, on the 12th of April, 1861, because I heard it myself, and it didn't sound right in my ear. Just so you know. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> that's what I bet. I had to be I used, I used to bet. <laughs> that was oh, sorry. Oh, that was Got watched last week. There was ice between the right boss <laughs> and me. Trying to tell you, it was like. Well, we were curious come. about the better. Okay. I mean, <laughs> y'all had to go to last week to find out that analogy. But you know. All right. Carry on. Sorry. Ready. Carry, carry on. on. Carry on. <laughs> yeah. Abe Lincoln was worried about these border states. And see, you got to remember, too, there was slavery all across all the 13 colonies. Mm -hmm. When you talk about Sojourner Truth, she was a slave that spoke Portuguese. So you stupid people in Akron, Ohio, they keep saying she's an ain't I woman. She didn't say ain't I woman. <laughs> she said ain't I woman because she spoke with a heavy, thick accent, mm -hmm. dialect. And that speech that they have on the welfare building in Akron, Ohio, y'all busted it out, which I was so against them naming the welfare building, Sojourner Truth building. They said, oh, because she was a mom of five. Yeah. And guess what? My cousin was one of the people who was a council person who, who was on, on board with that. Yeah. Then we, you know, I have, to, I have to call it out what it is. I thought it was a, a slap in the face. Come on, this is the, this is the location where this, this convention was held. 
I don't care. You don't have to name the building after her. You put a bust out there and you mention the fact of the convention on this site. Mm -hmm. But they didn't do that. So it's this Sojourner Truth building where you want to go do you get your welfare benefits. Oh, so wow. every time they test our name or something, it's always something really negative. Mm -hmm. Negative and degrading. Mm -hmm. You know, Bikini. she didn't get anything Bikini. that they took all five of her children away. Mm -hmm. go, go figure. Anyway, you got to read a little more on that too. I'm trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. Now, so he was upset because in the North, the way that they got their money was that they had to use Ohio River. Now, we remember seeing Ohio River mm -hmm. growing up. Ohio mm -hmm. River goes down through Kentucky, out on Missouri, mm -hmm. and Mississippi. That was where Indiana and Illinois and Ohio got their commerce. Mm -hmm. So, of course, Lincoln was upset about it, and so were these southern states. Like, okay, but they couldn't have commerce in the factories except where all the natural resources were in the south. In the south. So they were taxed them. Labor. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah. But guess what? The North also had to have free labor too. You know what they did? What? They enslaved children. No way. No way. Hmm. So this children is a little were, untold secret. Children were hmm. taken from their parents because the men were taken in the war to fight. Right. So they made children fight. Children work in these these factories. That's why we and right, child because then we had all the in Massachusetts that's why it, the child had labor the had the laws. Labor laws. That's right. right. They okay. chained these children of all races to buildings to 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 machines wow. to work. Wow. Child slavery. Wow. While they were supposedly fighting, <laughs> and the reason why they started fighting and the, and the thing about it was that it wasn't even called a war at first. It was called a national national emergency because the North got the behind kick right out in Manassas at um at the first Bull Run. So they declared a state of emergency. But I want to read to you specifically why this clause in this Crittenden Johnson resolution is so critical about these Union soldiers mm -hmm. and why I say don't give them a darn dime or their grandchildren or great grandchildren or whomever, mm -hmm. period. First of all, the Crittenden Johnson resolution intended that the Union government and the Union take zero actions against slavery. Zero. Zero. Nada, nil, mm. none. Mm. The second clause stated that the war wasn't fought, quote, over to overthrow or interfere with the rights or established institutions of those states, talking about the peculiar institution, and it goes further than that, but to defend and maintain the supremacy of the Constitution and to preserve the Union. They were not fighting, the Northerners were not fighting to free the slaves. The Northerners were fighting to free them because many of the Northerners were slave owners or ancestors of slave yeah. owners, including the great emancipator Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, whose mm -hmm. great great grandfather owned slaves, including the United States Union General, to come, William Tecumseh Sherman, and Andrew Johnson himself. Mm. Andrew Johnson himself. So if you sign on to this, this Recovery Act, mm -hmm. you're going to give Andrew Johnson's descendants. Money. Mm. How the heck does that work? Hmm. He was a slave owner. His first slave was a girl named Dottie. She was like 14 years old. He, they believe he's the one who impregnated her with three children in Tennessee. The only reason why he lost his slaves is because the Confederates took his, his slaves and took his land when he decided to be the vice president of the United States and sided with the Union. He <laughs> didn't freely give up his slaves. Mm. He lost them. Because Tennessee, the people of Tennessee just ran over and said, oh, we're going to take this. They took his land and made it a, a, a Confederate hospital. Okay, wow. read it. I didn't write it. Read it. Lincoln himself said, quote, this war is not waged in any portion or any spirit of oppression or for any purpose of conquest or subjugation or purpose of overthrowing or interfering with the rights or established institutions of those states. Established institution of those states. You better read it. The established institution of those states was slavery. Slavery. But to defend and maintain the supremacy of the Constitution, and the Constitution in it, it calls the Indians merciless of savages. It's still in the Constitution to this day. You better read it. Mm. And to preserve the Union. And this was ratified in the House and in the Senate. After the Nat Turner Rebellion, that's when everybody started signing on and stuff because they got scared because the Negroes were saying no and it's not and this and not up. And the reason why Andrew Johnson came into power was because of the Nat Turner Re uh, Rebellion. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, he was voted in to office, different offices like as governor in Tennessee and stuff like that because they wanted real, real estate tax reform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his first slave was named Dolly. She's 14 years old. So when Lincoln said all men are created equal, Andrew Johnson said, 
all men are created equal did not apply to blacks. Hmm. Watch this. Great emancipation, folks. You like you historians. When the Emancipation Proclamation was, was signed in 1863, guess what state it, it, it exempted? I'll tell you. Andrew Johnson State, Tennessee. <laughs> because he asked Lincoln to not exempt his state, to exempt his state from freeing his slaves. Andrew Johnson, Union soldier. Andrew Johnson, general in the Union Army. Andrew Johnson, slave owner. And his descendants will be recipients of this uh, recovery if he has any ancestors that live in Washington, D.C. Mm, probably do. Oh, so the answer is no. No. The D.C. Recovery <laughs> Act is not for you. Exactly. The D.C. Recovery Act, is, it, as it stands, with that clause in there, because why are you going to, going to award monies to, to, the, oppressor. to your oppressors who also afterwards had Jim Crow laws that didn't end until 1960, doggone five. Jim Crow was the law of the land to 1965. They had black codes. You had redlining, which did not only include black folks, but uh, redlining Italians. included everyone who was not a northern Caucasian European. Europeans from northern Europe. So that meant the Italians were redlined, the Greeks were Jews, uh, the Jews, Catholics, Greeks, Catholics, yeah. Hispanics, Asians. So that's why we can't lump them all together. My, I love you all, some of you, my brethren in Cobra, we're real cool. But on this one, we can't, we can't, we can't roll on this road. I'm in one lane on one street and you on some other street. And I want to add, we, we, we've asked uh, Mr. Cheeks to address this on many occasions and he has pretty much uh, ran, hide, ignored that the one, fact. That one clause nullifies that, that whole document that he spent uh, Backbreaking time putting together, and it was it's well put together. Uh, what was it the third show that we had? But I think it I, was well put together. But, but Twyla, I know you got a few more items to get to. But when you round, when you're finished, I want you to talk about all of the legislation, like um, EEOC. Uh, what is it? The News. affirmative action. Affirmative. How much others uh, are on the ship? with us that we don't even use a lot of these things that they think we use. That's because they always say they're like, always get a handout. Yeah, they're always, you know, it's always there's very little legislation that really helps us solely. True. As well, a business you know, owner, I agree. Correct me. I, I'm, I'm going to kind of put it in the ballpark and y'all fill in the blanks where necessary. But was it World War One or World War Two when uh, 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 I guess the public assistance was helping people Kind of like the start of welfare. That was in, that was after Franklin Delano Roosevelt with the New, the deal. New deal. Okay, right. yeah, okay, the New Deal. So, okay, again, so these these things were not meant to help black people. Uh, uh, it was they helping were, them in America because everybody exactly. suffered from from from, from the, the Great Depression. It, I mean, exactly, people, jumping, exactly. people in Wall Street jumping out of windows, right, killing right. themselves. Call Black Monday. Go right. check it out. Check it out. And check it out. Don't don't believe don't believe anything I'm saying. I didn't write it though. It's like the Bible. Mm -hmm. I didn't write it. <laughs> I didn't read the et cetera. I didn't write it. But from cover to cover, I, I'm on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you all kill messengers all the time. You killed Marcus Garvey because you sent him back. You killed Queen Mother because he asphyxiated her message. Mm. You killed Family Hammer because they made her sterile as a child mm. so that she could never have children. Yeah. What's the dude You killed Stokely Carmichael because you all wouldn't move fast enough because mm. you, you do good as an SCLC had one move. And to, the, to this point, I used to be a member of SCLC. We both did so. So mm -hmm. I can talk about it because I know what's not being done. Okay? Same people doing the same thing and I don't see nothing. You mean, you, if you all been quiet, I love you, Paul. Love you, Bishop. But you all mean real quiet mm -hmm. on these reparations. Or, main, or maintain a status quo. And, 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 and so, to the so point that, well, maintain how, a status and, quo. And how, how is it that the King's That's children just, aren't, don't belong to it? And, mm -hmm. and uh, their father was one of the starting mm -hmm. founding members. Mm -hmm. And they had a whole lot to say. Talk to Bunny. Okay, I get, oh, you don't have her number. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, so that's what I'm saying. So, yeah, it, yeah, it's coming out like that. It's mm -hmm. coming out just like that. Um, yeah, it, 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 it infuriates me when I think about. 
General George Thomas, Ulysses Grant, William Tecumseh Sherman, Andrew Johnson, mm -hmm. those were generals in the Union Army that also owned slaves. It infuriates me when people who don't know stuff don't want to hear it. It infuriates me when people know stuff and then they try to whitewash and change it up. I need you all to get this book called The Slave Trade. It's by uh, Hugh Thomas. I, I, my copy's packed up. Okay. The Slave Trade by Hugh Slave Thomas. Trade. After you read it, hit me up. Hit us up. Go to Connect the Bridge on, on uh, uh, YouTube. Go to Connect the Bridge. Get, check this out on, on Instagram. Go to um, T-Limbs on, on Twitter. Or go to Connect the Bridge at gmail.com. How about that? So let us know. We're not just throwing stuff out there. It's good. We're trying, we're trying to make everybody better, including ourselves. Um, the uh, real quick, affirmative action really wasn't for us. You need to read this good book called the Affirm When Affirmative Action Was White. Was white. Mm -hmm. Pick it up. When Affirmative Action Was White. Affirmative Action is what helped business owners to this day. They get this company called vacants and tax breaks. It's the same thing. Affirmative Action doesn't help anybody black. This is what they did. I'm gonna run through this real quick though. Mm -hmm. Affirmative Action was it was rewritten and to include when you all allow yourselves to become minorities, you lost out black right. people. Because minorities meant anybody that wasn't That's white. Right, right. So that meant Asians and, and, and Latinos. White women. And white, white, white women, women. Are the biggest. And, 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 yeah. and the ones who are the biggest ones of recipients. Are white women. And slaveholders. Mm -hmm. So what they do is a Caucasian woman will get a business, but guess who runs it? Her husband. And guess who gets the wealth? Mm -hmm. And I've and, seen it in action. I, I, we're still seeing it in action. And then also, too, with the front of action, what they did, and this is what a lot of employers did. You got this blacks, they said two for one. What they did was they, they hired someone black. But they didn't always hire the most qualified black person. Yeah. So that meant when a Caucasian person saw a black person being hired, they said, well, how did he get it? Because he's not even qualified. And oftentimes they would be telling the truth. Because the employers weren't concerned about getting the most qualified. They just got a black face to meet the mandate that the federal government had imposed upon them. Mm -hmm. So as far as the front of action, I've never got a position because of front of and action. I haven't either. Period. <laughs> I don't even put my race no. on anything. Mm -hmm. I don't put my gender on anything. Mm -hmm. The other day we were signing some papers so that what they ought to know what your race was. And yeah, I had already said, and I had already put the thing saying, uh, I put it in the computer. I said, mm -hmm. um, rather not disclose. Talking about because the, um, the federal government looks on these companies. I don't care what the federal government's doing. <laughs> They're looking at these companies. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. but, so what you do if, they, if you find out that they don't? How many hundred more years are you going to correct something? Uh -huh. you, you still have correct? I mean, for real. Federal government has corrected this other thing, yes, so, but I, I can't, I can't, I just, I can't do you, I can't, I can't uh -huh. right now. And I, I'm going up, um, like I said, going to see some cat in uh, Philadelphia here sometime soon, sometime in September, coming there, here we are, because um, of what you're doing with veterans. Um, Daryl Cook, uh -huh. he's um, uh -huh. kind of president of the city council, so I'm calling it out there, going up there. But uh, to wrap what we did, what we talked about today is that so it's important when you catch yourself, like right now. Um, so uh, uh, Sheila Jackson Lee is in Ghana. I went to Ghana with some of the yeah, members yeah. of, of the Nancy National Pelosi. With the, uh, Pelosi. Nancy Pel Pelosi. With the dashikis on there. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. This. This is my book. This is my book. You need to get this book. I know you can't see it real well, but that's okay. The title, I already told him. It's called The Slave, slave Trade by Hugh Thomas. We'll tell and the, the story of the Atlantic slave trade from 1440 to 1870. 1440, folks, mm -hmm. to 1870. Not 1619. Not 1619. We had slaves in the Spanish, Spanish colonies down in Florida back in the 1500s. I keep trying to tell them to change the dates because the date's right. The data's there. Don't, don't come to me if you, I mean, come on, well, it wasn't because the United States was a foreign government. The United States was a foreign government in 1619 either. Mm -hmm. Okay? So is that the answer you got for me? Check me on something else. Okay. Now, what was I saying about, uh, uh, oh, Ghana, the Ghana. National, uh, the, 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 the Congressional, on a tour. Congressional Black Caucus. They went, they went to Ghana. Why? And when she, she read H.R. 42, the Ghanaian government. And to, why? Why? Why are they even in Africa? In Why Ghana? are you in Africa? Right. This is HR40. The problem is here. HR40 has that you have enough signatures to even make it so you can make it up there to even and be the on the floor. She, when the last time Nancy Pelosi been to So Africa? what do we need to do? What is it that we as black people, descendant, American, American descendants, descendants slaves. of slaves, need to do to right the wrong as far as reparations are concerned? Well, I, two things. One, you need to start grooming people to be leaders. Stop complaining about stuff. Good. Groom people to vote on. Even if they don't win the election, so run the game. 
So run a game. Mm -hmm. So run a game. Mm -hmm. You're going to get your voice heard. You're going to get bigger, louder, stronger. Stop sitting back on the sidelines saying, well, these things are all wrong. There's a lot of stuff wrong. I mean, there's a lot of stuff wrong. Right. I promise you, there, there are, it, it is. But by complaining about it and talking about it and saying we're going to do our so own we, thing. So they need, we need to get more involved. Need to be, need to be more involved. Okay. Need, to, need to become more politically savvy and stop okay. watching sound bites. Right. You, people complain about, I had, somebody, CNN, I had somebody, and, 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 I had somebody who, who sent me <laughs> a, a, a message and complained about my comments about Elijah Cummings and then had the nerve to ask me what I thought about his house break-in. I said, I hadn't thought about it. I mean, I'm just telling you the truth. I, I had I got all the things to concern myself about. Because what they did was they just looked at what I said, and they didn't look at what I was saying. There is a lot wrong in Baltimore, and you cannot blame that on the federal government, not when you got a mayor and city council, a corrupt police department, a messed up school system. Mm. That's not the federal government. That's the whole thing that we got these, these laws between uh, federal government and state. You read the anti-federalist papers. How about that? Let me mm. let me school you on that. Federalist versus anti-federalist, and see and see what it says. So then you understand about how your local governments run and how they actually start out there. So I mean, so 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 so, so involvement I, is number so one. So involvement is number well, one. Can I say it's, it's it's a lot of agents out here too. Um, I'm not going to call any name on what you just mentioned about the um, federal government and uh, a certain person that's very popular. Um, who made a statement that um, the problem is is not Elijah Muhammad because the money that the money that is is they're trying to put it on Trump or the uh, federal government and the politicians they're trying to say that the money that they are given to make the city better is the problem of Trump or whoever's in charge. She, you know, was Trump in office or, when, when Freddie Gay got beat up? No, I, was, I'm, was, was I'm he in you, office? But I'm just saying, there's saying. a lot of agents out here. Even there are agents out here, even that we somewhat agree with. Mm -hmm. You know, we we agree with them. I'm not calling no names, but you got to listen to what they say. Because I heard something the other day from a certain person that's very popular, black, and I'm like, okay, he's trying to say Elijah McComin Cummins Elijah, Elijah is Cummins. okay. I'm saying no, he has a problem. <laughs> But I think, like you always say, Sean, that we really have to pay attention to our leaders who are just maintaining status quo when we know we have real issues and problems as American descendants of slaves that need to be fixed. Um, and we've got to have an agenda. We, the agenda needs to come from the people. And like you said, we need to work and be more politically yeah, active. Yeah, it, 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 exactly. And we got to disrupt the... Uh, these political people, CBC, and, and what do you call it, NAACP. Now, me, I'm not afraid to disrupt. I've been disrupting things all my life, so I just want y'all to know. I just don't want to smile. What you say? So I just can't do stuff by myself. You know, you see, I'm not. You well, know, you always have physically, to, like, with, with some not, organizations and AAC people. They got to go. Just, you got to make sure it was an, an organization even established by you. That's part of the, the dilemma. Well, they even, <laughs> they, they, they even made one of, their, one of their speaker, one of their leaders resign. Well, he mm -hmm. ended up resigning in Virginia. They always, but he made some comments about how people are bootlickers and how they just follow mm -hmm. on with status quo. He spoke oh, the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, that so, guy, yeah. So, oh, so, was, so people were offended. So. But, but, oh, but, but, but he was, but, was telling the truth. He was telling the truth. But let me, the, let me answer the second question. The second part of the question real quick. Mm -hmm. and, then, and, go ahead, go ahead. and the clock is hitting us. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the second thing is, is, is um, we need to really push for a national push for, for term limits of all parties, of all offices. Okay. Because there's no way that half the people that are in Congress should still be in Congress. Because I read you last week that Supreme Justice, that Supreme Court ruling that said you cannot push them out of office and uh, impose term limits on them. That was 1995. This is 2019. Mm -hmm. That needs to be revisited, and we need to get them out of office. Mm -hmm. There's no reason why someone should be in for over 12 years. After 12 years, I don't care. I, I, I think I'm a pretty brilliant person on certain things. But after 12 years, i got to get sit down, too. Somebody else got to come in. Mm -hmm. Somebody else got something to say. Somebody else got more, something fresh. Mm -hmm. And even though I might hear it, mm -hmm. somebody else needs to actually implement it. Mm -hmm. So that's, and that's this ego, American folks' ego. Same but, thing with but, the courts, but, too. Uh, that, that's what I mean. For Turn life. They're, they're in there for Supreme life. Supreme Court, that's what I'm saying. All, we need, mm -hmm. But that needs to be a national referendum. But yeah. let's, mm -hmm. let's hit to what this Harvest Day D.C. Um, event is coming up on Saturday, August the 10th. Uh, mm -hmm. Our good friend, uh, Dr. Claude Anderson. 
It goes from 10 to 7. There's going to be vendors. There's going to be open mic. There's going to be speakers. He's going to be speaking. Gerald Sanders is going to speak. Rick Mathis, who produced Black Friday. Brother Kush from PKB is going to be there. Uh, um, let's see how Kia Me, one of our friends, uh, Freedom Paper representative, they're going to, going to be there. Paula Goddard is going to be there talking about literacy for nation building. But there's a whole lot of stuff going on on the same day in ADO West Southern California. I got a ticket. Town hall meeting to discuss 2020 presidential candidate platform and growing demand for reparations mm. and the black agenda containing specific programs and policies that benefit ADOS. That's going to be at 4331 Degnan Boulevard in LA. That's mm. D E G N A N Boulevard in LA. That's the We Can Foundation. And afterwards, they're going to have their own Harvest Day Festival event. It's going to be at, at, at Lyman Park. But then also, too, um, in D.C., Empower the Community Weekend is going to be at the Walter E. Washington Convention Center. Um, the Black Girls Venture is going to have their boot camp at Corcoran College of Art. The Gospel Fest is at the Sports Arena. And, and I, I, I want to say Miriam Zara is going to be there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, and it's going to be, and then um, She Would Be King, Liberian Early Years is a debut of mom. Um, yeah, it's going to yeah. be at the Alba Osteria. This, this is a, a Way Too More, who's a wonderful art um, writer. Then the Caribbean Crawl is going to be around in District 8 in D.C. Live music, DJs, and it's at multiple venues. Amazing Grace Musical is going to be at the, at the Museum of the Bible. That's going to be this weekend. On the 10th also. All this is on the 10th. And then Adifa Prevents uh, Kulubo, which is at the um, George Washington University, and they got um, Black Mozart in Washington, Black and Black, and they run a short film festival. So there's August the 10th. There's a whole lot that's going on in that date. So there's no shortage of anything that you need to do. Go out and support what you can. Once again, yes. my lament, like I always say, yes. too much going on for us in one day. Nobody's talking to each other. Right. And read and research. Till next time, folks. Can you tell oh, me what these real are quick. For? 30 seconds. <laughs> Here, Sean. Shirley, put these on Sean. Put them put put them, on them. Put them on them. They ain't going to fit. Just, just put the wood. Put what? Let's just, yeah, can't come. Okay. What okay. are we going to do now? Okay. Okay. So lock it? Well, here, put Wait, it on my arm. Okay. What well, did you want on my arm? <laughs> put, 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 put one on my arm. His and came off. Uh, uh, here, I'll do it. Here we go. Here we go. All right, come on. Here we go. I remember one time go. they put one of these on me and I was able to get out okay. of it. Oh, that's because you slipped. <laughs> okay, look. Okay. Look. Oh, damn, yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. Teresa, you got the key, right? Sean. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Oh, okay. See, this is the deal. And I want you all as black people to stop handcuffing yourself to, to, to systems. Stop handcuffing yourself, handcuffing yourself to traditions. Stop handcuffing yourself to what people just say. Mm. Check out what they do and research it for yourself. What you need is the key. <laughs> <laughs> On that, Ron! Take us home. Take us home.